Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Clerks 3. Yes, Kevin Smith and his latest Clerks 3, and I've definitely lost a lot of faith in Kevin Smith as a director. I still love Kevin Smith, I really enjoy him as a personality and fellow Jersey boy, but his last couple of films have really left a lot to be desired. But, here's the thing. Clerks 3 actually delivers. This is a good film. And right from the start, you have an opening sequence that really just sets the tone and really brings the audience back into the Clerks world. And it feels natural and it feels right. This film has actual emotional stakes. And I felt in this film, I felt connected to Dante and Randall and Elias and Jay and Silent Bob and all these characters coming back. Smith makes some interesting choices with some of the characters, specifically Rosario Dawson's character Becky, that bring a lot of emotional stakes to the film and some bold choices honestly throughout the film even leading up to where this film goes in the end. And there are some moments in the narrative that feel a bit convenient and easily fixed, but there's also other moments that are really challenging in terms of emotional stakes and some really strong acted moments. This film focuses on Randall post having a heart attack, deciding that he's going to make a film about their lives. And Dante is tr still trying to process some grief and loss that he's had in his life that maybe this is a challenging experience for him. And there are some real legitimate moments where these two go head to head similar to the other Clark's films that felt natural and it felt right. There are some gags that don't work. There's Justin Long gag earlier in the film that doesn't work and some of the gags feel a little overdone. But there's a lot of humor here. There's one particular scene auditioning for the film where there's a lot of cameos and a lot of them are absolutely hilarious. There's also a lot of sequences where you have tons of meta humor that really lands and is clever. Um, they do some interesting things with Elias as a character, which is absolutely fantastic. And there's a running gag about his attire that becomes legitimately just riotous at certain points when you're just like the absurdity and how far out there he goes with them. This film feels like a cohesive story with emotion, with characters we care about. I feel like Brian O'Halloran is probably the one who feels the weakest in terms of like an actor at this point, but he does have his moments. And they bring back like everybody <laughs> from Clerks and Clerks um, that come back and actually reprise some even smaller roles. But you have Jeff Anderson who he feels like he just lives in the body of Randall because the second he's on screen he's there and he is believable as hell. Um, even Kevin Smith has a few great moments as Silent Bob in this film but this film is something that really continues the story of Clerks, takes us to new places even though it takes us through all the old places too but does it in a clever and poignant way and I was really shocked. This is a good movie, and I'm so glad that it is. But those are my thoughts on Clerks 3. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.